Welcome back to 21 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Hot Feet and Social Change. You can see my bookmark because I'm participating in the Read 21 and 21 Challenge, which means that I'm reading 21 minutes per day, every day as an act of self-love, as an investment into myself, as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. I hope that you will join me for this journey. Make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe, turn on your alerts, drop some comments. Let's build and maintain community. This week, I read pages 11 through 34. I'm getting my notes because I have a lot of them. I'm going to share three, my three takeaways, because I want to keep the video five minutes. But drop some information in those comments because we can talk about more in the comments than we can in this video. This week, I learned three new terms. That first term is spiritual knowing, and it's a reference from Jackie Alexander. And I go back and forth with the need to use words to describe the thing that needs no words. I feel like dance is so much larger than words. There are so many things that can be conveyed in dance that um, don't have to live within the limitations of words, but I'm <sighs> coming to understand and to realize that I do need words for the sake of preservation and dissemination. As stated by Alexander, spirit knowing is the mechanism for making the world and the meta world intelligible. Just let that sink in for a second. If you want to talk about that some more, drop it in the comments um, or get the book. Because here's the thing, I am in no way, shape, form, or fashion the know-all for this book. I'm just sharing my experience. I thought it was a great book, it's beneficial to me, and I wanted to share it with you. So let's, you know, talk about it together. Taking me to term number two, which is sauce. Isalama Jaw from the Joe family, and excuse me if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, I do apologize. Sauce is the spirit talk vernacularly rooted in the phenomenological experience of local yet global community of artists and students of West African derived cultural productions. So I've heard the term sauce before, but it's in this book that you get the history of sauce. And it speaks to um, the process in which people were learning the information and that, that space in the kitchen. And it goes really, really deep. Got to get the book so we can talk about this and so that you can better understand it. Um, at the same time, it, it ironically reminds me of the term gang gang. And I was heard a story from Baba Bradley Simmons, who's from the East Coast, and he talks about gang gang in the studio as bell language. So the gang 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 the gang 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 dancers finding where they're moving. Um, but that term too has developed and moved away from the dance space, the African dance space, still being used, but used in a different kind of way. But that's the way culture is, right? Culture is dynamic, it grows. So this book gives us a great, this book gives us a great space of knowing that history of where it began so that we can see how we're still using it and if there are any connections. My last term is the term Africanite. And while this is a new term, it's not a new concept, and it directly connects to that sauce term, right? Um, I would describe this as a durational experience or process that happens across time and space. So time and space, duration. This is the process in a way that is a holistic approach to learning the thing. So if we go back to that sauce or that food, if we talk about chebujin, right? Um, we know that Chebujin is not just a dance. If we understand the culture, we know that Chebujin is more than that. We, if we've eaten Chebujin, we better understand how some of the arm movements are extensions of how you eat Chebujin so that we can have a different embodiment of Chebujin rather than just uh, copying, right? So embodiment versus replication. So to borrow from Deidre Scalar, we better understand art from another culture when we understand that culture. That's it. <laughs> you better understand when you understand that culture. And that takes time and space to happen. Here's a couple of things. 
one, I really just want to make sure that you come back and join me with this process. This book is beautiful, it's deep, and I would really love to hear your voices. Also, if you are interested in learning more about West African dance, if you're new to West African dance and would like to learn some more, check the link in the description. Or if you are an artist and you're moving more into that academic route and you need some support in creating lesson plans, building syllabi, etc., also check that link in the details and stay blessed. See you soon.